are in a results oriented business. I understand that. I've never been sold on Coach Popovich. And if Team USA does not win the gold medal in Tokyo, I'm blaming it on Pop. Now, y'all going to call me a hater. For you to say that Coach Popovich is overrated, I think you don't know basketball. So I'm not going to go that far. I even done my homework. I, I, you can call me a hater because I was trying to find something. I was trying to find anything that would help my argument. I looked at his record without Tim Duncan. I looked at his record without Tony Parker. I looked at Pop of his record without Kawhi Leonard. This guy still has a winning record. Even though the San Antonio Spurs has not been a threat in about three to four years, honestly, at least, maybe more, he still has a winning record without these Hall of Famers, future Hall of Famers, superstars. So I got to put a little bit of respect on Popovich's name, but the eye test is telling me he is not that guy. He is not no Phil Jackson to me. He's never been. I never, ever looked at Popovich in that manner. Now we have Bradley Beal being out for the entire Olympics. COVID has now hit. Bradley Beal is done. The USA team may not even actually play tomorrow against Australia. That game may actually cancel because of safety and protocol. Jeremiah Grant from the Detroit Pistons. He's also out on the safety and protocol, but he should be able to return. But Bradley Beal is done. Bradley Beal is done, and that is a big loss, especially to a team that has started off 0-2. And I'm blaming that on Coach Popovich. How do you have a squad with KD and the, and the, and the bunch that you have? Chemistry is always going to be a factor, but at the end of the day, this is exhibition basketball, losing to Nigeria, losing to, um, I forgot who they lost to. Uh, I think they beat, or well, did they lose to Australia as well? I forgot who they lost to in the second round, but and it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. I'm blaming Popovich for this. I just don't, my eye just test to see, tells me he's not the guy anymore to move these guys, to motivate these guys. He has a system. It's been proven. But it's 2021, going into the 2021-2022 season, and I just don't feel like San Antonio is going to be a threat at all, mainly because of the, up top. Mainly because of up top. Look at DeMar DeRozan, man. Look at LaMarcus Aldridge. Like, everybody's not going to pan out. I get that. But the Spurs was one of those franchises. Not anymore. Not anymore. And, and I think that Popovich being the coach of this Team USA was just basically off of uh, longevity. His greatness is undeniable. But if we want to win, I'm, I don't know if I'm really going with Popovich. Being honest. I will bring in a young coach. Why not? I'm blaming Coach Pop. You know, I got to keep it real.